The film starts with asteroids that have just recently landed in the North Atlantic and initiate a firestorm of annihilation that has proactively taken out immense pieces of the humanized world. Leaving roughly 12 hours before the following firestorm arrives in Western Australia. The scene moves to Perth where James and his better half, Zoe, are enjoying their last hours in the beach house. However, the moment of joy doesn't keep going long as Zoe uncovers that she is pregnant, which drives James irritated and crazy. He reprimands Zoe for sharing that uplifting news since it is absolutely impossible that they could spend time together with their forthcoming child. Feeling disappointed and wishing to forget everything in his last hours, James leaves his girlfriend alone and heads to the party, even after Zoe implores him to stay. On his way, the man on the radio informs that the eastern shore of America has been impacted. And all of Western Europe has been obliterated by the firestorm. He likewise expresses that the firestorm is presently coming towards the nation which compounds the situation. Passing through a montage of disarray where individuals begin getting insane and killing one another, James abruptly is faced by a maniac furnished with a blade. After a few moments of discussion, the crazy person arbitrarily escapes the vehicle and cuts innocent individuals. James then, at that point, utilizes the chance to get away and runs. He figures out how to avoid the man by hiding in the lower part of a vehicle. Tragically, while escaping from him, James gets his arm injured by a nail. He defers his plan to take off to the party subsequent to seeing a little girl who has been snatched by two or three debased creeps. He intends to steal the vehicle, however, when he hears the little girl continue to shout, he chooses to break into the house and endeavors to help the girl, notwithstanding his demand that he no longer thinks often about anything. Outfitted himself with a hammer, he figures out to kill the two of them and salvage the girl, who later introduces herself as Rose. She informs him that she was isolated from her dad in Malaga, a suburb of Perth, while en route to her aunt's home and urges James to take her there. He then, at that point, chooses to carry Rose to Malaga, yet it seems like her father has disappeared, leaving his car there. Rose takes a photo of her father from the car and shows it to James. While inquiring about her mother, she says that her mother has passed away. On the other side, somebody on the radio declares that they actually have 10 hours left. While proceeding to the party, James stops at his sister's home, expecting to drop Rose there. They show up at James' sister's home, but nobody was answering the door. He chooses to break into the house through the back door, just to find out that his sister and her husband have committed suicide in the shower and finds three crosses denoting that they appear to be his sister's children's graves. Understanding that he can't rejoin Rose with her dad, James chooses to take his sister's vehicle which nearly runs out of gas and takes her along to the party in order to find someone there who can take her to her loved ones. On their way, Rose offers James a piece of cloth to prevent his arm from bleeding. Abruptly, they spot a police car stopping and they choose to move towards the man. James asks him if he could leave Rose with him since he is a cop. The man denies it and lets James know that he has given up on life, asking and requesting James to kill him with his family instead. James rejects and leaves with Rose. The police officer at last chooses to do it without anyone's help. The two of them at last show up at the party which ends up being Freddy's wild party, who is actually James' companion. The party was spilling over with individuals, even Russian roulette was being played there. Individuals getting killed is something ordinary there. They don't indeed, even feel frightened or miserable after one of the guys shoots himself in the roulette game, rather they were celebrating. James in the end meets the party owner, whose sister is James' other girlfriend. Seeing the party has gone wild, Rose is observably unbearable and urges James to leave. He, at last, meets Vicky and goes to a room with her advising Rose to play alone in the pool. Vicky forces James to mess around with her, however, James is by all accounts not in the mood since he just saw his sister pass away. She indeed even offers to consume a few drugs, yet James declines. From that point forward, she shows a bunker that was built under Freddy's garage, which she claims can safeguard them from the end of the world. James says that everybody, including him, Vicky, and Freddy will pass on in light of the fact that the bunker won't function as it isn't adequately profound and doesn't have adequate food stocks. That assertion disheartens Vicky furthermore, transforms her into a madwoman, declaring that she doesn't want to die and forces James to kiss her. Suddenly Freddy comes into the bunker, only just to exaggerate the situation there. He claims that the fortification will save them from the apocalypse, while James continues advising him to quit saying nonsense. At the pool, Rose is drawn closer by a madwoman who wants to replace her vanished girl. Rose is also compelled to consume an ecstasy pill. In the beginning, she refuses, however, when the madwoman guarantees that she can take her to her aunt's home. Rose at last takes the pill which causes her to fantasize and dizzy. When James returns to the pool, he observes Rose vomiting near the edge of the hall, while the madwoman was leaning over her. 
she is in a bad condition after taking that pill. At that point when James attempts to leave the party with Rose, the madwoman begins shouting, saying that James is attempting to capture her child. Abruptly Freddy shows up and points his gun at James, telling him to put Rose down. However, at that point, Vicky smoothly takes the gun from Freddy and fires the madwoman, advising James to move away from there. Rose's condition looks deteriorating and James chooses to carry her to his estranged mother's home. After a long walk, James steals a taxi and drives away with it. James treats Rose as if she is his girl as he lays her down on a bed and rests there. As she recuperates, we can see that the relationship between James and his mother isn't good. Afterwards, she inquires him about his sister's condition, yet James lies, not telling her about her death. His mom reveals that she visited James' sister some time back. However, nobody addressed at the doorway, not even the kids, asserting that James' sister was extremely egotistical for not permitting her to see her own grandchildren and accusing James' sister's husband of that. When she was asked how would she spend her last hours, James' mother expresses that she is simply going to complete her jigsaw puzzles. James chooses to proceed with his plan to take Rose to her loved ones. His mother gives James some petrol which she kept in the garage. Prior to leaving, James says his last words and farewell to his mother, holding her hand once and for all. On the journey, the same man from the radio expresses that Southeast Asia is totally destroyed, showing that it will just require a few hours for the firestorm before it arrives in Australia. The two of them at last show up at Rose's aunt's home. Upon arrival, Rose looks very happy because she can meet his dad. But, nobody seems to be at home as they explore the whole house and cannot find anyone. While walking toward the garden, James could track down Rose's entire family, including her dad, but just their dead bodies. Although insane at the news of her dad's death, Rose demands to see him. James quiets her down and finally permits her to see her dad's dead body. James covers Rose's dad with a cloth, brings him to Rose, and lays him by the pond. At that point when James requests that she go with him, Rose demands that she needs to be on her dad's side until the end, saying that her father believes they should be together when it happens. James then, at that point, reveals to Rose his relationship with Zoe and her pregnancy, which drives him to understand his affection for her. Rose persuades him to set things right with her while there is still sufficient opportunity. He acknowledges her advice, and the two offer an emotional goodbye before they split ways. James then drives away, abandoning Rose in her aunt's home. Sadly, the taxi overheats and explodes on the highway as the firestorm draws near, compelling James to run the rest of the way. Ultimately, he shows up at the beachside house on time. However, can't see Zoe there while the storm is drawing nearer. He runs out and figures out to find Zoe near the beach, watching the oncoming firestorm.